A very, very, very good morning to everybody. Thank you for joining us on our Sunrise Safari. It is a very, very cold morning here at uh, Juma Private Game Reserve here in Hasabi Sand, South Africa. Good morning, everybody. My name is Cedric, and behind the camera with me on Rusty, we've got Odie. Uh, it is cold this morning. It, I think it is the coldest morning so far uh, this year. And um, sitting at uh, Triage Dam, I don't know why I actually came down to a waterhole. Uh, well, it's so cold in the morning because around these water holes, it's even colder. Um, but yes, I think uh, we just want to follow up on some um, <coughs> tracks of lines coming in from the south. And there's some tracks coming from the north, some from the east. So there's a lot of line tracks in this area for the morning. We were coming around, we tracked our, buff, uh, our lines straight to our triple M boundary. Where there's a tracks up and down on the boundary road but uh, well look what we spotted not far from the boundary and well if anything is going to help us find some lions this morning it's going to be a herd of buffalo now maybe the pride has caught one of them hours ago bearing in mind when the lions moved through it was probably around seven o'clock last night so we're looking, we're looking at uh, 11 hours. 11 hours is a very long time in the night. Lions could hunt. A pride of 15 could eat an entire buffalo in that time. Once again, by this magnificent herd of Cape Buffalo, minus one. constant movement activity with lion mowing of the lawn decomposting the dung churning up the soil life continues every day a whole number of birds not only on the buffalo themselves feeding on the ticks a number of yellow box pickers there but other birds as well following through to pick up on insects disturbed and displaced by the buffalo's movements so when I was here three weeks ago the vegetation was so long so green and I was anticipating watch out for my head sorry about that anticipating lots of buffalo activity and well, since I've been away there's been enormous amounts lots of rain leads to lots of regeneration of the vegetation and you can see around this buffalo there's still green grass As a bonus, we found elephants. And, uh, in fact, some of them are actually gone into the railway siding area. But anyway, so the goal is still to use the remaining time after we've reviewed these elephants to try and find that lion. only know a little bit later if that line has emerged out of that particular area. Lisa wants to know if elephant bulls ever try and rejoin herds that they are pushed out of. Uh, yes, in a way when they're still young they do that. It's not so much that they are being pushed out of the natal herds where they are born from. It's more like, uh, it's more like they kind of like, no, it's time to leave. And they naturally, the instinct takes over. And I'm sure there's a bit of animosity from the cows. But eventually these young bulls, when they reach their puberty, they start leaving. Kind of like on their own accord in a way. But 
they might occasionally join up with that herd in the early stages of that young adult period but it's 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 just the way they built uh, they then move on it's like they know they've got a job to do and they go and do it yay my favorite animal in the whole wide world BK and I saw it at the same time and we basically stopped. I was going to grab my binoculars and check because it wasn't moving. We often see lots of honey badger logs in the stream I was talking about just before that is still flowing. Hello, Mr. Badger. Oh, I'm excited now. BK was like, this. I'm like, yeah, I think I saw it too. <laughs> Busy digging. I don't know if I can go back a little bit, Beaks. Can I go back a little bit there? Okay. You're not going to be able to get another view of it. How's that? I can't even see it anymore. Just see the grass rustling. Hello. Now, honey badgers can be very relaxed. They can also be quite skittish and they can run. Uh, with the right amount of space, uh, generally they're pretty okay. They're quite resilient and formidable animals that, if they feel threatened, will defend themselves, but also can move off quite rapidly. A lot of digging. It hasn't seemed to find anything else since we've seen it. Very dirty nose. How special is this? This is probably the best honey badger sighting I've managed to, well, you've managed to get on camera. Oh, actually, I, I lie. The best honey badger sighting I had was when one killed the monitor lizard. But uh, very hard to compete with that. This is the second. How special indeed, BK. Are you, ha are you happy with that? We'll take it. We will take it. No leopard this morning. No lions for us to frame. But a honey badger. Being very inquisitive. Well, it bodes well for a good winter. It bodes well for a good afternoon. And we're feeling very satisfied with our find this morning. And uh, we do thank you all for joining us this morning on the Sunrise Safari. We look forward to seeing you again, same times and same places this afternoon from all of our wonderful locations. Thank you for your engagement, your questions, your comments. Honey Badger time. Until this afternoon, have a blessed day further. Till then, good day and goodbye.